part four and that is building a clientele and a lot of people have asked me like man like your clients are so loyal to you or you have such a huge clientele like how did you build that uh, and so I'm gonna kind of cover a few things that I did some stuff that worked for me you know we talked about planning um, and you know staying in front of an audience constantly like social media putting your your schedule out there that's a huge huge part of it but you also kind of like have to get your name out there first right so a lot of it started for me in networking groups um just meeting people going to you know like we have something called like the gathering on main um where vendors can set up and people can just walk up and meet you and I think those are great. It's a slow builder, to be honest, and it's really a lot of energy is used when you have to go to like networking and, and meeting a lot of people. But you kind of see it over the years progress uh, and, and those people send people to you, you know, they, and you see the growth that you have because of those relationships that you formed. Uh, another thing that I've done I've done it briefly and I don't, I really don't recommend using Groupon. Um, when, when we opened up our location here in Owasso, I did a Groupon just to kind of be like, Hey, I'm here because it's kind of an easy way there. They already have an access to a ton of people. So it's a, it's an easy, easy advertisement to, to do. You also don't get paid. Crap. I mean, I mean, it's just, just don't expect money out of it. Okay. And I do have clients who were my Groupon clients from six years ago and they're great clients. And I got some really bad clients out of the Groupon situation as well. But I think I lasted two weeks, maybe three weeks doing the Groupon thing where I was going like, man, I'm not making any money off of this. Um, because it's, you know, you have to give a 50% discount sometimes they ask more and then you give them 50% of what's left over. So shoot, you know, let's, if you're doing a $40 Brazilian, you're going to get $10 each time and that, uh, you can lose money quite, you know, pretty quickly with that. I don't know how other people do it in their industry that they have a little bit more overhead with waxing. It's a little bit better because you have less overhead. Okay. But, if you do massage, you're gonna be working your belt off for nothing. So keep that in mind. That's kind of a last resort thing. Uh, Facebook. I'm a Facebook girl. I try to learn Instagram. I have Instagram. I need to get better about it, I'll be honest. But with Facebook, what I've learned over the years, uh, I wouldn't do Facebook ads. Uh, and like boost my ad instead where I found that I had more growth is if I did a Facebook event so every month I put a um, hundred dollars in my advertising budget and I would have an event and I would make events up I'm not kidding like I mean an easy one would be like okay get ready for Valentine's Day Valentine's Day event and it would uh, be for two weeks and I would create the event and then I would boost it and take that same hundred dollars that I would have put in for a Facebook ad, I would put it into the boosting the event. And when you do that, it shows up in a lot more places like community calendars. Um, it's just put in front of more people from what I've found. Okay. Um, and people can share it a lot easier. So what would be interesting is I'm like, yeah, $40 for this Brazilian. Here's a $40 special. And all these people will come in and they're like, okay, so what do you regular, you know, what's your normal price? I'm like, ah, oh, that's actually $40. And they're like, really cool. And they wouldn't be mad. You know, it wasn't like I was tricking anybody. Um, I'm being very upfront about what I'm doing, but it just sounded exciting and it brought attention and it brought people in. I used to do that all the time. Uh, I tried to do an event every month, even if it was like get ready for spring break or um, get ready for New Year's Eve. I mean, you can be really creative 
come up with something and make an event out of it where it's going to draw some attention. Uh, the other huge thing for me was reviews and getting somebody to someone to do a review for you is like weird to ask. Some people just do it easily. Um, but reviews are what really made my business, especially in my line of work, because I'm having people come in, take their clothes off, and I'm ripping hair out of their vagina. So of course they need to trust me, right? And that's not something that's easily earned. Uh, some people have no problem coming in and dropping their pants and being like, let's just try this out. But some people are like, hi, please don't hurt me, you know? And so they gotta have some trust built. And whenever they see those reviews and see how many people come to you and how comfortable they are and they all love you, and then all of a sudden more and more people come in. So how do you get some good reviews? Something that I would do um, once or twice a year is I would say, okay guys, I'm gonna do a hundred dollar gift card giveaway. And that would perk some ears really quickly because hundred dollars is a lot, a lot of money, right? And all I would say is like, you need to like my page and you need to write a review. And write me a review and I, whenever you put your review out, I'll take your name and put it in a drawing and in two weeks, I'm gonna um, draw a name and whoever you know wins gets a hundred dollar gift card towards waxing. I must have gotten hundreds of reviews just off of doing that alone. It's huge, it will make a huge difference in your business. I absolutely think you should try it, okay? Um, and that can be in, in many different industries too. But staying in front of people, uh, a lot of people don't know how to really do their own marketing or graphics. And something that I have used is PicMonkey, which I know a lot of people like Canva. There's a couple of other ones out there. But PicMonkey for me, I'm not, you know, computer savvy. It was kind of easy for me to learn. Uh, it was crucial because you can make some really cool professional looking graphics for your event pages um, and for your your Facebook page or all your social media pages but they make it easy they have templates set up you should totally use this tool I think I paid maybe $72 a year to use the pro package um, and it's absolutely worth it I'll even put a link down below in the discussion um, so that you can go to check it out okay uh, you can also use that for your graphics for like those newsletters that you send out, which I mentioned before in our planning. And those newsletters are pretty crucial. Uh, it's just another way to stay in front of people. Building a clientele is about constantly staying in front of people because if you aren't, someone else is going to get their attention. Okay. Um, let's see. I also would do referrals. Most of my business um, is referral based. Most of my clients come because their friend recommended them and I reward my clients for doing that. So I give them $5 off, you know. I even have a couple that are like, dude, I brought five people last week and I know they did because they came in and they said so-and-so referred me. And so they maybe get a free wax because they've been sending so many people into me. Um, Lately, not many people do that because there's nowhere to get in on the schedule, so all my clients are pretty pissed and they're like, stop telling people about, about coming in because we can't get in to see you. Uh, so, so far in this series, we've covered you know, how to pick a path, the importance of setting goals, uh, planning your week, measuring the productivity, how to start building your clientele, but what about keeping those clients and what makes your clients loyal to you? So in our in part five, we're gonna be covering um, about, like basically we're doing customer service um, because technique is one thing, you learn that in school, you've got that down, but why people come to me is because of the customer service that I give them. So stay tuned for part five. We're going to cover everything you need to know to make that client more comfortable, to help your business grow and thrive. Thanks for watching.